let there be light. Hi everybody. This is a 100 watt LED module from eBay which I've glued with a thermal adhesive to an old computer CPU cooler. These are the power cables for the LED ending in a XT60 connector. And this one is the normal fan header connector. Also attached to the cooler and LED, it's a reflector which I've designed in SOLIDWORKS and 3D printed. For this reflective layer, I didn't have uh, any more uh, aluminum tape and I was too cheap to buy more. So I've actually made my own tape from double-sided carpet tape and some aluminum foil, you know, the one used for food. It does the job and doesn't look too bad. This is the back of the flashlight with the charging ports, as well designed by me and 3D printed. As you can see, there are three connectors, an XT61, a DC jack, and a connector for Lenovo laptop chargers. So three convenient ways to charge the flashlight. And this is the body of the flashlight. Again, everything is designed by me and 3D printed. And the back cover fits just like this and it's held in place with a black drywall screw. The body of the flashlight actually failed to print properly due to a clogged nozzle. So I had to print the back part again, which failed again. And instead of printing the entire thing again from the beginning, I just glued everything together with epoxy. As you can see, both the back cover and the front reflector have holes for the air to circulate and cool the LED. And these are the components inside the flashlight uh, that uh, make everything work. And of course a battery. Let me show you how everything connects. It's quite simple. So for the charging ports, the voltage goes through a constant voltage, constant current module to charge the battery, which goes here. So from the charger to the converter, the converter takes the input voltage and transforms it into 12.6 volts at 2 amps to charge this 3S2P battery I've built. Then from the battery, the voltage goes to a switch through some long wires. This other green and yellow wire from uh, the switch is for the LED of the switch. And then all the wires go to another voltage converter. This one takes the battery voltage and transforms it into 33 volts at 3 amps for the LED. And it connects to the LED module with this XT60 connector. Also, the fan of the cooler gets connected directly to the voltage of the battery. Of course, only the ground and the 12 volts cable of the fan are used. So now if I press this button, I will be blinded. Jesus Christ, this is too powerful. It's actually a 10,000 lumen LED. You cannot look directly at it with the naked eye. You will be blinded. And let me show you that the fan is actually working and cooling the heatsink and the LED. Initially, as you can see here, the reflector was glued with hot glue, but I've replaced it with temperature resistant silicone. And what was important for me is to make all the components easy to take apart. Not soldered, but with connectors. Now let me show that actually everything fits inside. The reflector, LED and cooler part just slides in the front and then is held in place with just a drop of hot glue. And this is the finished product. I could have made it look better with more sanding and epoxy, but this is a tool and it will get scratched anyway. The most important part is that the handle is smooth to touch, which it is. And look how nice is the position of the on and off switch.
By the way, this flashlight weighs uh, 1.2 kilos and the battery lasts 55 minutes. Now let me show it to you in action and please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thank you.